Hi, this is Juniva, 3D artist and illustrator. Today, I will show you how I made this cat flower in Nomad Sculpt. This tutorial including modeling, adding colors on shader, simple lighting and rendering. Also, two different ways of making turntable at the end. Let's get started. First of all, we need a reference image. Click a picture icon on the top menu. I have a concept illustration which I made here. I will just put this right up here so I can see it during my work. Also, you can change opacity or overlay of the image. Now, let's start modeling petals first with a basic object. I'm going to use a cylinder for basic petal shape. Grab this green controller and move down to reduce the height of the cylinder. I think this should be good. Let's validate this one. Now open scene menu and click plus button. You can find repeaters down here and choose radier and grab gizmo tool to move the object. Now you can see four objects created in default. The flower I want to make has seven petals. So let's type seven. Select the main object from scene object list. I can shape it into an oval shape as a base for a flower petal. Let's make it a little bit wider. Turn on a wire at the bottom menu. It shows a wire on mesh. So we can see the polygon topology. Before smoothing, it needs some more resolution. Go to resolution menu and the voxel remeshing and use the smooth tool to make the edges smoother. Symmetry is on. It applies to all at the same time. So when the view is slipping as we see now, it is because no object has been selected at the moment. So select the object first to apply smooth. Let's name the object. It's better to name this now, especially before it's getting many objects. When I have so many objects here, the scene list becomes very busy and crowded. I would like to keep this clean and simple as much as I can. Now, let's make a head part. I'm gonna start with primitive sphere. I want the petal a little bit wider because smoothing made them a little bit smaller. Again, naming the object. Change the view to the side. Adjust the spear, squeeze the spear a little bit. Rotate the flower and find the right angle to make a face. Tap the trackball on the top right to see the top view. Now we are making an ear. I'm getting a primitive cylinder. Before getting to work with it, let's turn off the eye icon on the scene list to hide the rest of the part. Click this yellow radius icon here to yellow dot show up. This allows you to control the radius of the top face of the cylinder. The green dots are control for height. Let's validate this one for simple sculpting with gizmo tool to make basic ear shape. Don't forget saving the file. Open this folder icon on the top menu to open project. Type the menu of the project and hit save icon. And actually when I worked on this project, unexpected crashing happened and all data was gone. And I had to make it again from scratch so better to save. I want to make it smooth and round a bit. It will go under the head mesh. I just leave the bottom part because it will go under the head mesh. Now switch to mask tool. Let's lock off the trackball to fix the view. I will draw the inside of the ear with mask tool. As you can see, it is because of lack of resolution on the surface. Click the resolution icon on the top left and click wire icon at the bottom to see the wires on the mesh. Let's try painting the mask again. 
It looks much smoother. I just paint the triangle and fill it in. Now, good enough. Now, when I click this mask icon on the top here, it shows more options about masking tool and hit invert the mask. Let's grab the moving tool on the right side of the menu and change the radius a bit bigger. Grab the part and drag it to under as you can see here. The view from the side, it can help you to see more obvious changes. With clicking the mask icon and now clear the mask off. It looks good, but the edges are too rough. Let's make it smooth with smoothing tool. It looks good, and now I want to see how it looks with other parts. In the scene object list, simply turn on the eye icon to show the object again. This is a good time to name the ear. With gizmo tool, resize and place it on the head. We have one ear now. Let's mirror this on the other side. Open mirror from the top left menu. Here we have two buttons. The local means one mirror in the center of the ear object. The world means the symmetry plane is fixed by default. The center of the entire scene project here. So I'm gonna select world here and save the file. Let's make the eyes now. Get a brand new primitive sphere. Scale and place the position with gizmo. Here, just tap this red mirror icon on the top menu. It gives another spear on the other side. This is an easy way to make symmetrical object like a simple eyes. Adjust the size of the eyeballs and place them as the concept image. And let's name the objects as eyeballs. Let's make pupil, which is a black part of the eyes. Scale it and again with the mirroring on. By adjusting the position of the pupils, you can create simple facial expressions and add characters. It is a good time to name the eyeballs. Now let's make small chicks. It is okay to make these chicks copying over from the eyeballs, but I like to make them with a new spear from scratch. Again, turn on mirroring. Make the shape and scale them, and place them under eyes. Slightly on the side of the head and under the eyes. Give them little over shape. Naming the chicks. Click the folder icon for saving this file. For updating the file we already created. In Nomad Skirt, there is auto saving function, but I prefer not to use it to save some memories on my iPad. Next, let's make a nose for this cat. We need a new spear. Take gizmo to scale it and transform the spear. Take gizmo to scale it. Scale it down and place it in the right spot on the head. 
it was created under the mirroring group of checks automatically. So I'll just take this nose object out from it. Otherwise, we'll end up with two nodes, like chicks, because mirroring is affecting it. And naming nose object. Let's validate this nose. We will do simple scripting. Now, click Move tool on the right side menu. I like to reduce the brush size a little bit smaller from the left side bar. And to make sure the mirror is on. Now, script it like upside down triangle like a cat nose. Make the basic form and simple. And find the proper spot for the nose. I think flower petals look so CG, so let's make them more handmade and natural look. The let me hide the head part so we can focus on the petals. Better make sure they are validated the shape before scripting. Hit on instance, then hit OK. Click moving tool from the right side of the menu. This time make sure symmetry off before scripting. Simply drag some area out to make the shape more like the concept. Touch the next petal to select and turn off the symmetry because we are making unique shape. If the brush size seems too big, then reduce it on the left side menu. Actually, I have to record this part again because I forgot to hit record buttons when I work on this part. So you might recognize the flower petals looks not really exactly the same. I'm using eye pencil here. I think it is very sensitive enough to scrub the shape and touch and just slightly drag to shape it. Do the same thing on the next petal. If you want all petals looks alike and same, then you can just simply skip this part. I just want to try to make the concept of art and the more natural and handmade look of it. When you're scripting, if you don't like the changes, you can just simply go back with undo button anytime. Now with the crease tool, we can under the lines on the petals in the concept art. The tool is at the bottom of the menu, then you can change the order of the tools on the menu bar if you like by simply the moving of the icons. Crease tool gives like sharp carving effect on the surface. Now just draw a line for testing. The crease line looks like need more resolution. Let's add some more resolutions here. Go up to the top menu, hit resolution icon, and the multi-resolution is subdivided once. Same thing apply to all objects one by one. The default crease tool gives in curved engraving effect, which so uh, it is the opposite. It looks embossed effect and do the same thing on the rest of the petals. Before painting, select the opposite by touch. Otherwise, it slips the view just like this. It looks a little bit rough on the carved surface. I'd better blending a little bit. Then make smooth the line area with smooth tool. Now show the other parts. Let's see how the petal looks with the head. The modeling is done and now moving on to some coloring for now. Select petal group from scene object list. Then go to voxel remeshing. Then hit remesh. Turn on wire on the bottom menu bar, then we can see the wire on the mesh. The voxel mesh worked. It is providing a uniform resolution for the entire mesh. This processor alters the topology, making all polygons the same size.
Let's add pink color on the cheeks. Click this shader icon on the left side. You can add color to click in color grading. I'll just pick pink as the concept art. I just found that the bottom of the ear needs some fix. I'll just select the ear and move it down a bit. Let's see the other side of the ear. Adjust the position a bit to make it on the head surface. Looks good. I'm mixing light pink for the ear and head. Hit paint all to apply the color and shader. Click the other side of the ear and apply the same color and the shader onto it. Click the head object and apply paint all button. And next eyeballs. Grip white colors for eyes. Add black colors for the pupils. Pink for the nose. Almost there. Finally, select the petals. Add some pink a little bit darker than the head. You can choose whatever colors you love. It doesn't have to be pink. It can be blue, purple, or yellow. Inside of the ear needs to be darker. Close up a little bit to easy to paint. Uh, this time, I will use mask for painting in this area. I'm gonna hide the main head part. Paint the mask like this and fill in the inside. If you want to fix the mask, on mask button on, then it works just like mask eraser. I can paint the other ear too. Clean some area with unmask. And back to mask tool and click the mask icon on the top for more options, then invert. Click this layer icon on top right menu and check if the upper layer is selected. Grab paint tool again, fill in the inside of the ear. Now clear the mask. We can adjust the opacity of the layer by sliding this yellow bar. Using layer is very useful. Also, we can use layer in sculpting. We will use this layer a lot with more complex character modeling for future tutorials. I think the edge is too harsh, so let's fix this. Let's go back to mask options and add some blur. This make blur the edge of the mask. Let's paint it again on the mask. Clear the mask. The edge is too blurred and needs to be cleaned. We can also erase the paint too. Let's do the same thing on the other ear. When the other ear is done, let's show up all objects. Now we are going to paint a cat mouth. Let's select the head object and then make sure it is validated. We are painted on the separate layer. So click new layer to add one. We can paint the mouth. I'm gonna find the dark pink from the color grade. If the color is not so sure, try to paint it on the surface and see how does it look. If it is too dark or light, 
and test the paint on the surface of it. The paint looks too blurry like this, then it needs more resolution. So go to open to resolution window. Let's select multi resolution. Hit subdivide one more. If the brush is too big, it helps to reduce the size of the brush to really small. Now, and let's change the background color. Click the picture icon on the top menu, click the color bar, and select the color you want to change. I just go for a little pinky gray. If you hate pink, you can pick any other colors. I just turn off reference image. Click light icon on the top menu to open shading and lighting option. I will leave the environment light on and just add one custom light today. Add a light and name it key light. I like to put the light around here to leave the shadow the other side. Test intensity of the light. I will go about 0.4. Select the flower petal group here from the scene list. Now we will add the dark line on the petals. Find darker pink color. So we can see the lines more clear. Hit this layer icon to add a new layer. Make sure the new layer is selected. And go to resolution on the left top menu. In multi-resolution, add subdivide. Since this project is small, so I will just ignore this and click yes. Add some color line on the flower petals. Test the line if the resolution is good enough. I think it looks good, and then keep paint other petals too. Show all the objects here. Let's see how they look. Before rendering, let's check post-process setting. Check on this post-process here. We can have more options for post-processing. First, I'm gonna turn off all the options. Turn on the options if we need only. Check one by one if we need for this render. Also, to save some memories, avoiding crashing or slowness. Toggle on and off, see what is the differences. When reflection makes the look pretty, but it takes more memory. Global illumination gives more the brighter and better with ambient occlusion on. Ambient occlusion calculates shadows based on the distance between objects. So it provides a more solid and a three-dimensional appearance, as you can see here. Try strength how it looks. If it gets too strong, it gives darker. I like strength is a bit of a hint. It, it is 0.14 or so change the size. I'll just go for 0.5. Curvature bias controls the edge, which is opposite area of the shadow. I will have this number about 0.036. Depth of field offers out of focus like camera. Focus touched area and the rest of the area will be out of focus. Mm, it is a great one, but I don't think we need it here, so I'll pass it. Bloom is a simply glowing effect. Pass this one for this cat flower. This color grading works like color correction in Photoshop. I really like to use this one. Make brighter and contrast a little bit. Curvature enhances the sharpness of the object edges, but I don't think it is needed for this, so pass it. Vignet gives darkening the screen edges. 
Grain is useful. It offers noise break up the perfectness. The render looks more natural rather than CG looks. I just give it small amount like 0.1. Sharpness, we don't need it. Pixel art, no need. Scan line, no need. I kept some only effects here, but you can do some experiments to create your own image with post-processing effects. Mm, Anti-aliasing is not artist effect, but we keep this one and leave as it is because it is by default in real in related quality. Now camera setting. Click this camera icon to add a camera view. Set the flower in the middle in the view and hit this new camera button. This cam will remember this cam view and let's name this one main cam. Now if we mess up the view then always go back to the same camera view we just saved. This cam view is very useful when we make turntable. Now let's see two different ways of making turntable in Nomad Skirt. For first turntable render, go to the top right menu. So there is a three bars option next to setting icon. Here click this ladybug debug icon. Come down this GIF turntable. Set four seconds. I think two seconds is too short. I'll test transparent background option on. Let's see what happened. Click this GIF export button, then OK. Now rendering. It renders only flowers without background. You can save this GIF in iPad or iCloud. I'll just try with background this time. Just click this GIF export button, raise max frame sampling up to 20, and hit GIF export and yes. It is rendering. I rendered again with the pivot 0 and 0 because I want to have the rotation center is 0 and 0. When the rendering is done, then it shows like this. You can save this one, otherwise click done. The other way to create turntable render is go to Nomad Scope icon on the left top. Then this option shows up here, turntable option you can see. It turns by pivoting the center of the object. But what is the difference this one compared to previous render setting? It is free to change the views while it turns. It is nice presentation interactively. You can build your 2D illustration into 3D and you can use this render for a nice presentation and you can see how the design works in the 3D space. I hope this tutorial is helpful and provides you with a chance to learn more about no Nomad Scout. If you have any questions and any cheerful messages for me, let me know with comments below. If you enjoyed this cat flower tutorial, please thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Then I'll see you soon. Bye.